five belt storage build. Five by five in five. This is a continuation of the last episode. In addition to the iron plates, I also made an iron rod floor. We took that third line of 120 iron ingots and used the same build as last episode. In this episode, we will create a storage floor for the iron plates and rods, as well as prepare the storage for rotors and reinforced plates that we'll be building in the next episode. Feel free to use this storage room for your own 5x5 five, five, five belt build, and remember to catch me live on Twitch where I talk about this and many other builds. Let's get started. Place two levels of single conveyor walls on the output logistics side of your 5x5. Five five. Place two levels of regular walls around the remaining sides of the 5x5. Five Place one layer of glass all around. And a gate wall on the entry side, like in the last episodes. Now, the inner walls. Place two layers of single conveyor walls, one tile in, on the gate wall side. Gate walls on top of this. Metal walls on top of that. Now, metal walls all around. Time to place the storage containers. On the output side of the 5x5, place five storage containers with the inputs facing the inside. Stack another set on top, flipped. Place storage on the opposite wall with the output facing towards the gate wall side. Stack another set on top, flipped. And another set on top of that, flipped again. Now, it's time for the splitters. For an optimal version of this build, you'll eventually need smart splitters, which are unlocked in the MAM. If you're still super early game, splitters will work okay for now, but you'll eventually want to replace them with smart splitters. Place three splitters in the center of the 4x5 space we've created, along the line with the three central storage containers. Place a triple stacked splitter on the outside storage containers. You need to stagger it here because there isn't enough room with the lifts. Start from the center and move it back two spaces from the gate wall side. Belt between the conveyor walls. Conveyor lifts on the three central storages and splitters. Lifts on the gate wall corridor. Lifts on the outer storage. Delete the lower splitters. Finally, belt between the lifts. Place the outer lifts as well here. The outer lifts will be for the rotors and reinforced plates, so place some temporary lifts here. This should take care of all the belting. Reminder, the outer lanes will be used for rotor and reinforced plate storage. Place foundation in the gate wall corridor. Place some belts on the output of the container so you can see at a glance what's there. Drop exterior walkways. Drop ladders. Finish roof. Profit. Whoa.